Um, very disappointing for all your fans that you've not been allowed into Britain. How do you feel about it? Man, I'm, I'm devastated, you know. Um, as you guys say over there, I'm gutted, you know, by, by this uh, whole situation. You know, I, I put a lot into this tour. You know, this is my 25-year anniversary of uh, my first album, uh, Vinny Vedevici. And so, you know, I wanted to give my fans something special, you know, a, a, a really nice uh, uh, thank you for the 25 years of, of, you know, them being with me, you know, through, throughout my, my career just to support. Mm. And, and, you know, I thought it was a goal, Pierce. I thought everything was fine. Thought, I, thought the visa was, you know, being, being cleared. And then at the last minute, I find out that it's not. And, you know, it, it, it really sucks because the, the people who get hurt the most are the fans. You know, they bought tickets. These venues were sold, you know, 85, 90 percent sold out, you know. And, and that, that, that to me, Pierce, that hurts the most. That, that, and, and I really, really was putting on for the people. I, you know, I, I built an amazing, you know, stage for them, amazing, amazing set. So I'm, I'm hurt by this. Now, the reason that you were refused entry this involves a, a previous conviction yeah. for which you served two years in prison on gun and tax evasion yeah. charges. Now, that's a matter of public record. Everybody knows about that. You've written about it yeah. in a book. You've talked yeah. about it many times. There's nothing yeah. secret about this. Why is it only right yeah. at the last well, stage? It, it, let, me, let, me just, let me just put a correction in there, Pierce. It was failure to file taxes. Okay. It's a little bit different from evasion, but go ahead. I'm no, sorry. no, it's important <laughs> to get it right. So, look, for those who don't know your story, yeah. just explain quickly what it was that got you that criminal conviction and the prison sentence. I mean, you know, it was a really silly conviction, if you ask me. You know, guns are legal all over the country. You know, people can get them now with, with, with minimal to no background checks, you know, in, in certain uh, cities and states out here in, 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 in America. So... It was a really silly conviction. Um, I, I, you know, I was pulled over in my, in my car. My, I had my driver. I was in the back of my vehicle. You know, um, usually if it's a regular stop, they talk to the driver, get his license and you know, registration of the car. If, if anything is, you know, wrong with, with, with that, then they, you know, they go further. But, you know, this, this just felt a little different. You know, there was three cop cars all around my car and, you know, they searched my car and they, and they found a weapon in my car. Well, you know, it, it was a weapon that I had, obviously, for my protection. I didn't brandish it. I didn't do anything with the weapon, you know, um, violently. You know, and so, and, and so I, I uh, served two years in prison for that and, and because uh, New York gun laws are very, very strict. Hmm. And, you know, that, that, too, needs to be talked about, you know, um, um, on, a, on, a, on a different level, you know, how we can you know, maybe reconstruct some of these laws, even out in, in, in London. Maybe there's something we can do to talk about, you know, how artists can be led into the country, should be led into the country, especially after they haven't committed a crime in over 10 years or they haven't been in, in prison in over, you know, 10 years. And, and, and so, you know, I'm, 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 just, I'm just thinking that this needs to be take, you know, it needs to be taken a step further. And, and somebody needs to fall on the sword for, for this, for all artists to be able to get into the country. What